Hi, today we are going to work on upgrading our Ahava Sisro, our love for our fellow people, through prayer. Do you know that there's a prayer every day that we say, Matovu Ohalecha Yaakov? This was actually a statement that Bilam said about the Jewish people. It first was supposed to be a curse and God didn't let Bilam curse and this blessing came out. What was this blessing all about? Oh, these holy tents. You may be familiar with the Jewish people's wandering in the desert and they were all in tents. And it was a known fact that no doors of the tents were aligned side by side. So just in case one door would open, and another one would open at the same time, no one would be able to see into the other person's tent. So Bilam was saying, these people are so godly, they're so modest, they're so careful not to look into other people's tents. Well, the Baal Shem Tov teaches us that this is not just about, oh my gosh, maybe they're not modest, but it's about our strength not to look into other people's business of what standard are they are at. So every day when you say this prayer, you could really contemplate and meditate. Hmm. In order to really have Avash Yisrael, I need to train myself to just look into my own tent. Like I am equipped spiritually. My DNA and my soul has a strength to judge other people favorably by just not even looking at their weaknesses. I'll tell you a story that uh, really is a story that changed my life. Mendel Futtefass was actually in prison for teaching Torah in the Soviet Union. And he was in prison with these gangsters and they were actually playing cards and the guards were kind of surprised, you know, where did they get these cards? So they wanted to come in and confiscate it. But every time the guards would come in, somehow the cards disappeared. And there was like a cat and mouse chase. And then all of a sudden the guards just gave up and left. And Mendel Futafas was just like fascinated. Like, are they doing witchcraft? So he approached them and he asked them, like, what's this all about? So they said, well, we're, <laughs> we have quick hands, we're thieves. Every time the guards would come in, we would put the cards in the guards' pockets. And every time the guards would leave, we would take the cards out of the pockets. They wouldn't even notice it. So Minda Futafas was like, wow, this is a lesson in life. Everybody's always looking elsewhere. Why isn't she fixed? How come she's behaving that way? But if they would only look at their own pockets, they would realize at a gut visceral level that it's so difficult to change. And it's not so easy to like fix Amida. So, can you look into your own pockets and just follow the ways of the Jewish people when they were traveling in the desert to make sure not to align the door so they wouldn't peek? That will definitely give us more Avash Yisrael. All right, bye-bye. Hope that helps you every day.